Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a new laptop that I just got. It's the MSI Studio Z16. I decided to get this laptop because my old one just gave out, is given out. So I've experienced a lot of issues with my current laptop about multiple blue screens, overheating, the battery life is sort of gone way bad and it's recommended that I replace it based on according to my Lenovo Vantage settings. I did like a battery life check and the battery was designed to hold about 70,000 watts and right now the laptop is only giving me about 29,000 watts um, after like 45 minutes or an hour it just completely shuts off and there was a particular day in fact I had to plug it in to use it if I just took it off while I was working on my computer it would just shut off immediately and I couldn't have that I could tell like you know she's uh, she's about to go <laughs> So I backed up all my data and I started researching into buying a brand new laptop. A couple of options came to mind, but a lot of them were very expensive. But I eventually settled on the MSI because I was looking for, I wanted to get a laptop that was sort of a step up from what I was currently using. So my configuration at the moment is one terabyte of SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM and i7 processor. and even with that, sometimes I experience lag with Fusion when I'm trying to experiment with new, new things or playing around or I'm um, trying to do something that's graphics intensive. And I needed something that was going to sort of cut through that a little bit like butter with the playback and sometimes just general experimentation of Fusion. I wanted something that was a little bit more capable. So I decided to go with this and the specs on this are i7 13. I'll throw them on the screen. I think it's 13700 HX, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and we have a graphics card that's in there and one terabyte of SSD graphics card. I think it's about 4050 RTX. The reason I wanted to get this because I wanted to get something that I can use for code design and animation at the same time, and we'll just cut through all of that. I'm planning to experiment with Blender in the future, and I wanted something that's gonna, you know, last me a very long time, you know, get me there. I'm always gonna do that with ease. So I decided to go for this. Funny enough, this is not the first MSI laptop that I actually got. I actually got the MSI Stealth 16, which is a gaming laptop. It was an amazing laptop. I actually loved the design on that one better. The build quality for that laptop was pretty good. The only downside to that was at least the model that I got. The screen wasn't color accurate. It was, I can't remember what the screen type was, but it wasn't color accurate. Um, I made some designs with it. I looked at some of my designs I made in Affinity Designer and it did not match what I was looking at in my Lenovo C940. Red did not look like red. <laughs> blue did not look like blue. If you're curious about what those designs look, look like, you can check the community tab on my channel and you'll see it. Some of those designs that I posted. Yeah, so I asked myself if I'm paying this much for it, am I willing to stick with a screen that is not color accurate? I was like, probably not probably should invest in something that, you know, if I'm going to be experimenting with like the color tab in the future, playing around with that, I would need something that's color accurate for the long run. And so I decided to get the Creator Studio, the Creator Z16 instead. So yeah, here we are. The laptop is a pretty good laptop, but one of the things I've learned from doing, I guess, my research into products before I get them is yes, you should always research like products if they meet your needs. But one thing I've learned recently is you should always research as well. What are the negatives? What are the cons? The things that are not so great about them. And you should be able to ask yourself, are you able to live with that? If those cons should, you know, happen to you or, you know, if they're just built in, can you, you know, sustain that? Are you okay with that? And that is something that I've added to my research process when I'm trying to buy a brand new device. So you check places like Reddit, you check places, you know, online, what are people saying, the reviews on different websites, you know, just to get a general sense of what the downsides are before you actually, you know, chunk over like uh, a lot of money to get it. And I am already aware of some downsides of this laptop. Uh, it is not a perfect laptop, you know, humans are imperfect and so the products they make often reflect that. <laughs> but jokes aside, 
Um, yeah, one of the things that I found out about this laptop early on is that the touchpad, it's big and it's nice and it's beautiful, but it's centered on the on the board. It's centered on the build, on the design, right? And so sometimes your right palm is resting directly on the touchpad. And so you can get some accidental touches while you're typing, uh, which is not very good. Um, before I used to look at my C940, when I first got it, I was, I was wondering why the touchpad was tilted slightly to the left. Now I understand, although it's not symmetrical, um, that asymmetry was necessary for functionality. And basically that's the trade off here. Um, you get the aesthetic symmetrical look perfect. It looks nice on the board, but you trade away that slight, that functionality with accidental touches, you know, um, which is, which is what it is. But I, I told myself probably I'll, I'll get used to it and, you know, learn to type better that way. Um, what I really want was a laptop that was capable of doing the things I want to do, which is like video editing, experimenting in Fusion, um, Blender, um, a lot of creative software stuff. And it seemed to have all the specs. So I was like, you know, I could live with that. And, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. The other thing I also discovered is um, fan noise. Um, a lot of people complain about heating and fan noise. Um, so that's a downside that I'm aware of. And so going in, I'm already expecting that. But that being said, I want to use it for myself to get my own experience with it. I want to put it through Fusion, put it through um, a lot of coding, um, a lot of creative, um, you know, 3D stuff, uh, creative coding. I want to see what it's capable of. I want to see if it's going to last, you know, um, how it you know functions does it, when does it start over um, heating when does it start breathing like a like a horse um i want to know that and so i'm going to use it for a month or so a couple of i'm going to use it for a while and probably i'll make a retrospective video discussing um uh, how it's fared um in the time that i've been using it and yeah that's going to be all from me thank you guys so much for watching I love to know what laptops you use for your own creative and coding projects, what laptops have worked well for you and which ones just been not great or you've had problems with in the past and which one are you currently currently using now? What are your specs and configurations? I love to hear it. Um, yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and happy new year.